What have I been doing? I've been... Last few days I've been... Good morning everyone, it's Friday morning, uh, Friday morning in London, it's very sunny, it's a beautiful, beautiful day here, uh, summer is here at last it seems. There seems to be a trend, <clears throat> there seems to be a trend on YouTube at the moment which, I don't know, I watch a lot of YouTube videos and <clears throat> I, maybe I should comment about YouTube videos but I don't want to, uh, I don't want to become a, a YouTube commentator like some of the other channels out there. In saying that, I really like uh, H3H3 comedy channel, and I like uh, also PewDiePie, how they um, pinpoint certain trends on YouTube and make fun of them in a very entertaining way. But I just don't understand uh, season two. Why do people have a season two vlog? A vlog is a continuation. It should be a continuation of a thought process, a continuation of a story. I don't understand why you separate it by seasons. We're not, YouTube isn't television. I don't think we should be putting television terms into YouTube. Um, I think YouTube is, is different to TV and we should try to keep away from season one, season two. I notice a trend lately though, a lot of vloggers are calling their vlogs season two. SO2, Season 2, Number 2, I don't know, Jan Olsen, Casey Neistat, well, he's Season 3 actually, uh, who else, who else, Ben Brown, Mr. Ben Brown has just come back, he's, he's calling it Season 2, why don't you just keep calling it your vlog, why don't you just keep numbering it or not numbering it or whatever, why does it have to be a separate season, uh, I mean I guess for your archive purposes and your backup purposes it's easier to have your folders in your backup thing of Season 1, Season 2, but for a viewer, why do you have it as Season 1 and Season 2? Um, so, for this vlog, there will not be a Season 2. That doesn't mean the vlog's ending. The vlog is not ending. There will just not be a Season 2. It is just a continuation. So, as you know, well, you might not know this, but as of the end of June, I have been making YouTube videos for one year. In that year, we're not, we're not up to the year because I've still got two weeks left, but in that year, I have had... 155,000 views, 611 subscribers. Um, I've posted, well, hopefully by the end of June, I've posted 100 videos. 100 videos is my goal. At the moment, I've posted 93 videos. So I have seven videos to complete from today, which is the, let me check my laptop, 16th of June, from the 16th of June until the 30th of June. Even though my anniversary is probably around the 26th. Let's just say it's the 30th of June, end of June. So I have seven more videos. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try, and I've said this before in a previous vlog here, uh, that I'm going to try and post seven videos. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm going to post 100 videos before my year is up. Um, when that year is up, uh, my vlog will still be counting as in <laughs> whatever number video I'm up to, it will be the next number. It will not have a season two in front of it. I will not start the counter again. I don't want to do this. I don't want season two. I, I, I know I'm going on about this, but it kind of bugs me. And so there's no season two of this vlog, just a continuation. Yeah. So one year on YouTube, um, it's, it's been very satisfying. I mean, it's been very satisfying. I mean, I, I mean, I know I've spoken about this before, but I guess it's, it's a hobby. I mean, I, I treat this as like a hobby. It's something I enjoy doing. It clears my head from normal work stuff. Uh, it's hard to fit it in sometimes. Uh, when I was in Kazakhstan, as, you, as I said last week, uh, I've been in Kazakhstan for three weeks. When I was in Kazakhstan, it was very hard to post, to post vlogs there to film. Um, I think I posted two there, one when I first got there on the first night because I couldn't sleep, and then the second one uh, a week in or something. And I posted one when I got back to London, so I had a bit of footage, but not a lot. Um, I actually have more footage, but it's a little bit boring, so I didn't think I should make a, a vlog about it. Um, but all in all, I mean, the thing about YouTube is you get a lot of inspiration. The inspiration is by watching other channels. Um, I watch a lot of a lot of channels on YouTube. I watch new channels and I watch 
older channels, established channels, uh, you know, from PewDiePie all the way down to people with, you know, lesser subscribers like me, probably still more the subscribers than me. Like, um, I really enjoy Car Fanatic, uh, who also has a Porsche 911 series too. I really enjoy that channel. Uh, I really enjoy Nick Murray, uh, who's grown to be big now, he's 100, 000, over 100,000 subscribers. You know, but I really enjoy I really enjoy watching all these videos. I mean, I watched H3H3 yesterday, and if you haven't watched H3H3, you should watch their channel. I'll put a link here. Uh, they are really, really, I really enjoy them. They're really genuine people, very nice people. And he just posted a video about, you know, them starting on YouTube and giving it a go, basically. You've got to give it a go. You give it a go. It may work, it may not work, but at least you know you tried. And I think that's... Watching that last night and almost at my year anniversary of having a YouTube channel, it really came home. I mean, you've got to give it a try. And that's what I'm doing. I'm giving it a try. And I thank everyone who's supported me so far. Um, you know, I know the direction I want my channel to go in. Traveling a lot makes it very difficult to, to do a lot of Porsche videos, which is what I want to do. But I know shortly I'll be able to do them again. Um, that's what I really want to do. A lot more Porsche videos with other Porsche drivers. Uh, you know, not just Porsche drivers in Australia or the UK, but with people in other countries. You know, when I travel, maybe I can meet up and we can go for a drive. They're the sort of things that I want to do on the channel. You know, I don't know. Porsche passion, Porsche family, you know, those sort of things. I also want to keep doing the reviews because I really enjoy doing reviews and I haven't done any for a long time, basically because I haven't bought any equipment. The last, <laughs> the last piece of equipment I bought was the uh, Hero 5 Session, which I did a review on. Uh, and ProTune settings, which is one of my best videos. If you haven't seen it, it's here. Uh, I think it's had 50,000 views. So that's that's been a very successful video for me. So I want to do more videos like that. Um, but I need to buy more tech. Uh, and I have got a few things in mind that I want to purchase, which I'll be purchasing shortly. But anyway, I guess this was just a quick channel update. Um, because I'm thinking about the year. I'm thinking about the year on YouTube and you know, I just, it's, it's been a great ride so far. It's been a great ride and I want it to continue. And I think in the next two or three years, um, it's, it's just going to get better. I'm going to keep trying and I'm going to keep posting and I'm going to keep, you know, um, being myself. This is me. Anyway, thanks for watching a uh, short video today and I'll, I'll see you all soon. Oh. One other thing, I'm thinking about going to Goodwood, Festival of Speed, which would be absolutely fantastic, but I've got to work out, one, I know how to get there, it's very easy, because I'm in the UK, but uh, I have to get a ticket. So, if anyone's going, let me know in the comments. Um, I'm really serious for going, probably only for one day, I'm not sure which day to go, because I know it's on for a few days, So, but I am thinking about going for one day over the weekend. Anyway, bye for now.